It was like something from Saturday Night Live. Like, yeah. like, like our our political system for the last like through the Trump era, Saturday Night Live bit. You couldn't make it up. That's why late late night TV hasn't been funny for the last five or six years. What the, what they normally goofed around about just happened, and then there was there was no joke to be made anymore. It yeah. was like it was like the There's reality got more absurd. Made. Oh, I got on. outraged for TV over it. You it, know, it, every day there's something yes. new. And, and I'd stop being outraged about yesterday because he gave me a new red herring. And there was only today. one point and of view. It was, it, it was <laughs> everyone. It, it was let's mock Trump every night. And, and it was like, what are we mocking him about tonight? And it, you'd be like, well, wait a minute. God damn it. Like, I thought that was OK. Did we just mock anything he does, whether it's good, bad or ugly? And that's what late night TV became for like five fucking years. Yeah. Like all of them sucked. I stopped watching anything, hmm. and it's not like I'm some big Trump supporter. When, when there's funny like stuff about Trump, it's funny. Like yeah. the fact that he still walks around with that hair like that is, is a goddamn riot. Like if he was in your family, you would be <laughs> like, you'd be like, here he comes, here he comes. <laughs> look, look, touch it. Oh, I'm not gonna touch it. You touch it. Okay, come on, come on. Fucking, fucking two out of three paper boxes. <laughs> I just I, like, try and like have family barbecues on windy days. Yeah, you'd be you'd be goofing around about Uncle. It, uh, can we Uncle find a, a graphic of Trump's hair explained, Zach? Like I, I've seen him before, where they show the cut and how he's like covering. Yeah. Bald Doesn't spots. he go forward in one place and then swoops in another place, and it like forms a, a wicker pattern of of when Jimmy <laughs> Fallon <laughs> when Jimmy Fallon grabbed it and and gave it the schmush, it was like. Oh, that's quite a lot of hair. That's more hair than I gave him credit for. Like, like, like when I saw it move, it moved in a way that suggested like some pretty good stuff there. It, like, it's, it's surprising he makes it look some that bad. sort, but it's not as empty as you'd think, you know. And he had, I, I remember he was um. If there's a name for the podium he's at. Look at that. Uh, and, and he's like, people think my hair is fake, and he invites a member of the audience to come up and pull his hair and see that it's real. And I thought it was kind of ballsy. So let's yeah, see. Um, sweep the thinning front section to the side and provide a band of cover above the forehead. The most important part, take the longest back section and propel it forward so that the comb over lies at a 90 degree angle with the under layer and gives the illusion of thickness. Take a third section of the hair from the top, roughly in line with the left ear, and sweep backwards at an angle to deal with the peripheral thinning on area on top. Comb hair directly above the ear backwards. Otherwise, it will trail by the face, detracting from the rest of the kofir. Anyway, I my takeaway from all this is that he is a genius and he's not getting the credit that he deserves. Oh, I you think he came up with this? Yeah, he came up with this. I just watched <laughs> the clip, Kyle, and you're like, I don't know what I was expecting. I was expecting like like the top of a box to just flip back. He does have more. It's very thin in a lot of areas. Very thin. But it's his but it's, hair. It's and growing it's out of the, that area. Yeah, it's, it's funny. It's, it's, it's like, Normally thin it's hair, hair doesn't become 12 inches long. But look at that. Yeah. You know, something about that is pretty regal. <laughs> God, I'm glad you said it. I'm glad you said it. He looks like a proud old lion, doesn't he? I, I'm seeing a a bird, a male one, ready to pick an up eagle, a an, an a eagle, an bald eagle. <laughs> <You're> right, Woody. <laughs> You're right. I'm glad I mean, we both came together and finally agreed about Trump. I, mean, I like. I think he's what's way now, funnier too. is like the orange that stops on his forehead because there's so much effort taken in his appearance, and it's like that just goes by the wayside. Actually, so you're right about the bad spray tan. But when he became president and started getting professionals doing his makeup, it got better. Yeah, yeah. Could, I wonder he what he looks cheap like out now. anymore. Like they, they like had some like, people. Like on the campaign trail, he was doing it by himself the way he always did, and then somewhere along the way, he had a pro take over. I, I'm, I'm if he, uh, if he, if he comes to a rally, a rally within you know, thirty minutes of me, I'm going to go for sure, uh, and I'll do the same thing. I'll try to get up close. I, I think it's. Look, I think this is a historical fucking figure. I think Donald Trump is more of a historical sure. figure than the yeah, average president, the president by a long shot. And I want to be able to say, yeah, I saw him. I was in that room. I, I was in that room in Hickory, Kentucky in 2015. I saw that motherfucker <laughs> when he was North thin Carolina. and angry. Yeah, in North Carolina, yeah. Um, he was thin and angry. <laughs> yeah, when he was thin and angry. Thin and, 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 and Chris Christie stuff. was there with his pants pulled up to his goddamn ears. I saw his <laughs> Chris Christie was the best optical decision for Trump by far. Because, like, Trump 
fat load. Even like before he became president, he was already, you know, wasn't like anyone that would stop in America and make you stare, but fat. Chris Christie looks horrible. He looks like he could die anytime. And so he's he like, clearly an addict. yeah, he, he's a, he's a food addict. He loves mm-hmm. fucking blooming onion. And so Ooh, he would just have him. Too. First of all, Chris Christie's short. And so you see Trump there towering over him and it's like, oh, wow, that suddenly this tall, fat guy doesn't look as fat next to this orb of a Chris man. Chris Christie was wearing those businessman socks that, that go that have like the uh, the suspenders attached to them, to the socks themselves. And they were like a very they looked fancy. They were some pattern. But when he sat down in this chair, it, it reminded me of that chair that Morpheus sits in when he talks to Neo and offers mm-hmm. the pills. It was a big cushy chair. But when he sat down and like pulled his pants up, you know, to so he didn't have a bulge or anything, like there's God, his pants like came come so far up and it's so <laughs> tight around his balls and dick and thighs, and there's so much belly, and he's got the suspenders and the like he's probably wearing a, a six, seven thousand dollar suit, but he looks like shit. This, no, way worse than this. Way worse. That's than the this. best he's ever looked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Could, I, I, maybe this will be difficult to find, but but search Trump and Chris Christie and Hickory, North Carolina. Like, let's maybe we could find a picture from the day that I was there and got to see him. That was cool. A fun Chris Christie picture is a uh, Yankees uniform. Oh, what was he thinking? Oh, that's it's brutal. Crazy. It's hard for a normal man to look good in a Yankees uniform with those pinstripes and that tight athletic. Oh, this oh, yeah. is from Hickory. Okay, so oh. on him, on him, that looked. Like that baseball. I don't remember painted those on. flags. Can you can you get Chris Christie in um the Yankees uniform? If you Google Chris Christie fat, there's a ton. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the Yankees uniform or just other ones? There's uh there's one who he's still in a baseball, but he looks fat in a different outfit. Not the <laughs> oh, it's not his thinning look. I ju- it looks like Trump's lost some weight. <laughs> oh it was even oh, worse than memory, but okay. I mean, look at that moose knuckle. That's as bad as it gets. <sighs> he's he's a specimen. I oh, have look, 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 better look, in my look, head, though. I, if I had been in the locker room, and I'm Chris Christie, and I put that shit on, and I look in the mirror, I would have immediately picked up my phone, and I called my handler, agent, whoever the person is that's usually between me mm-hmm. and, and them, and I'd say, look, this shit's not going to happen. You tell them that I'm having heart palpitations, low blood sugar, I don't give a fuck. Meet me out back. We're leaving. That would have been it. Mm. I'm leaving. And it would have been, oh, Chris Christie had to leave for uh for, for personal health yeah. reasons. Chris He's Christie had low her. blood make sugar. It, <laughs> yeah. Make it a uh make it a, a, a anything. A family or emergency. Or like, oh, like you yeah. tell him I had to go to like fucking vote on something at the Capitol, go but I gotta business. go. Yeah. Instead, he suited up like that and, and and like, come on, that's a bad look. Yeah. <laughs> 